Hello and welcome to this um, video series. My name is David Thorne. I'm from Thorne Web Design. Now we're going to be talking about um, a program in Logic here um, using PHP. Now this program log Logic um, can be used in any programming language whatsoever um, but for simplicity I'm going to use PHP and as you can see it says top-down programming logic. Now if you've never heard of top-down or bottom-up programming log logic um, it's essentially um, the starting point of once you have an idea you write the idea down of what it is that you want to do, the concept of what it is that you want to do um, and then you start, you either start from the bottom up which would be doing all of the small things first and then step by step by step by step it's a finished product. Now this can take a long long time and whilst you're going you're removing all of the errors, all of the bugs, uh, making it perfect all the time but it takes a long time and during that time something new may come out which you think oh I've got to change everything now because something's new come out or someone in the management team or in the in the marketing team or the ideas team or whatever then suddenly says no let's add this into it because this is a really good idea because someone else is doing it so you kind of have to go back to the bottom again and rejig everything what you're doing to then work your way back up again to the next level to continue on and then lo and behold another person has another great idea and says let's add this to it and we'll do this and then you've got programmers have got to go back to the beginning again and they've got to rejig all the code and keep going until they get back to the level that they were at where they say I'm done again and then they move forward a little bit and thinking and the programmers are thinking I hope they don't tell me to do something else now and then they come again and they keep coming and keep coming and before you know it every week that goes by a month goes by the programmers are being paid the resources are being paid marketing being paid and your product is not even halfway finished yet now everyone wants a perfect um, perfect concept everyone wants a perfect product uh, that's finished but ultimately you want it finished and if it's not finished it's not making money so the whole aim of, of doing something in a, in a business sense is to actually make money. Now you have to work out how much money you need to make. If you're producing something where you know that the end result once it's finished is going to make millions, tenfold of what you've spent, then it's worthwhile doing bottom up because you've got to take into account how much money you're going to get paid for it and how much time you can allocate to making it perfect but if you're doing programming as a contract for someone else you need to clarify with them exactly what it is that they want okay you need to write it down if they want if they want a complete a complete um, product finished from you that's bottom up programming okay you need to work out all of the small things that they want because all of these small things is time time is money and you want to charge them by the minute of what you're doing and you want to make sure that every single thing that you've got to do is written down and confirmed from the clients because if during the time they come and say how are you doing on on this page and that you say well you never talked about this page and they said well yeah I did it's written in one line there that I've got to do it then that means you've got to do it but if you're explicit on every page or every function that you've got to do it takes you more time to put together this this contract of what you're doing then you know that you've you've secured in any profits and you're not going to have any losses and if they do come and ask to add more stuff you just got to charge them for it even more you don't care whether the project gets finished in X amount of time as long as you get paid for it now on the other hand if you're doing this for yourself and you want to be making money for it you want to have your project finished and making money as quick as you can so you can start paying for upgrades of your products okay so um, if you're a perfectionist you need to put that perfectionist part to the one side on the whole project and you need to split it down into small bits okay and work out what is the most important element 
of this one program um, and what is it supposed to do okay that's if you are um, building a calculator and you said the most fundamental thing of this calculator what it needs to do is it needs to add and subtract numbers now so you think right well all I've got to do is I've got to have a, a an overview of a calculator that's got all of the relevant buttons on it a lot of the buttons don't do anything but ultimately does it input two numbers and can it add those two numbers together and can it return those numbers that's it so that's the only thing that you work on for the time being is inputting two numbers in and returning one number back with the sum of the two, two um, plus or minus together and then you can go from there multiplication on the other hand you think well now I've got to do multiplication but essentially um, the calculator can do multiplication just by using uh, um, uh, addition you know 5 times 5 is 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus etc 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 okay so that's that's the idea of it have something that's working okay maybe not to its 100% but it's working right and you can make money from it you can have people look at what you're doing so um, that's an introduction into uh, what we're going to be doing now you might be thinking wait a minute he's not teaching me how to program here no I'm not teaching you how to program here because there's other videos about ha what PHP is and what programming languages are the fundamentals of what a variable is what a method is what a function is class uh, what classes object object instantiation and so on that is the that is the, the the language itself learning the language but not the logic of programming okay so this is really one step further now is it if you've learnt the programming language and you think well I actually can't do anything it's the hardest part it's the it's step it's the next step in doing it you have to have logic first um, on on what you're doing so this is what we're going to be going through okay um, and let's just call this the introduction and we'll we'll start with uh, a simple task we're going to keep this simple and try and move it up a little bit further in small projects so you finish a project all right okay um, and once again top-down programming or top-down or on this I don't know where this is going to end but ultimately I want to give a few videos for the time being that roughly explain top-down programming okay that's my aim is that I could make a hundred videos on this explaining everything and I could start from bottom which I'm not going to but for the time being what I'm going to say to you is is that I'm going to give you a, an explanation a short explanation of top-down programming and then if I've got time I'm going to add to it and I'm going to add to it all the time okay if I don't have time then I'm not going to but ultimately then you've got something that you can use until I do get time to do some more videos alright um, I've got some time today so I thought I'm going to do some videos let's finish this introduction and let's go on to the next video alright thank you